Hey Sagittarius, this is Nicola. So this will be your weekly read. This is for April the 5th through April the 11th, 2020. Y'all yep. hear kids, that's my children out there. <laughs> what guidance do we have? They're playing out in the backyard. What guidance do we have? All right, Sagittarius, we have orbs of light. I think, I'm not sure who had this. I think Aries had it, but I'm not sure to be honest with you. So we're just going to continue to move forward. Okay, it says the spiritual worlds are delivering a message to you. You may have already heard it through telepathic reception and mistaken it for your own thoughts. Yet it is inspired by your higher guidance, those spiritual beings that love you without condition. It is an answer to a question and guidance to increase your happiness. All right. So let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have? This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 5th, April the 6th, April the 7th, April the 8th, April the 9th, April the 10th, and April the 11th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? April the 5th through April the 11th. Got the two of swords here. So I feel like you could be in a space of feeling conflicted within your thoughts. I feel like eight of wands here. Some of you guys are conflicted about moving forward. Maybe you're um, conflicted that you could be moving forward too fast. So we have the high priestess here. I feel like you're needing to trust your intuition. Trust that cosmic knowledge that we all have within us about a decision. So this is about making a decision. Making some moves. Um, we have the death energy here of transformation. I feel like whatever choice you're making is going to create a transformation. Could also be dealing with, we got Cancer, Taurus, and Scorpio here. Heart chakra here. I feel like this is about opening up your heart chakra, trusting what you feel with inside of your, yourself, your heart space. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be in a space of trying to make some plans. I feel like you're trying to make some plans to gain your independence. Um... That's nine pentacles here. But I feel like you're conflicted about some things too because of your beliefs with the sacral chakra here. So some of you guys are conflicted based off of your beliefs around something. Saturday we have the base chakra here. Um, maybe around your beliefs towards some basic needs. You got a lot of chakras here. So I'm definitely going to tell you that you need to be balancing out your chakras this week. You got three of the seven here. And with the mental conflict, you could feel imbalanced within your whole being. So we have the high priestess here. Why is the side pieces here? We have the five cups here with the king of cups and the hermit here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really in a space of having some regrets around extending your energy. You're thinking about some things. Um, with the seven of wands and the temperance here, you could be in a space. I feel like you're... Either you're in a space of resisting divine timing or you're in the space of, you could be in a space of resisting divine timing. Some of you guys could be holding on to something that you know you need to move away from. There's a transformation that needs to happen. I feel like there's a change within your heart space that is happening. And I feel like you're in a space of kind of trying to wait something out that you may need to not. Um... <laughs> So with the Hermit card here, I do feel like, again, you do need to go within yourself. You do need to contemplate some things. I, I, I got this for Libra energy as well. So if you got that in your chart, check out the Libra reading. We have the Two of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this is about creating some harmonious changes by making some choices, some movements, some decisions. Why is this Two of Pentacles here? We have the Two of Cups, Three of Swords. So this, I, I definitely said this, this is about... For some of you guys, this is about severing a connection. I feel like you know you need to sever a connection. Your perspective around something has changed. Um, and I feel like you see something is in balance. So this is about finding the strength to create balance within your life by severing a connection, making a move. So there are some moves that have to be made here. Um, I feel like for some of you guys... You could be very compassionate to a situation that you may need. You may be putting more compassion into a situation than you're actually putting into yourself. So this may be like a change, a, something that needs to happen in order for you to start making decisions to create balance within your own life. So we have the death card here. 
transformation. Why is transformation here? What is this transformation? We have Knight of Cups here, Empress here, Two of Wands. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's a clear decision that needs to be made. And the decision is to cut away things that do not serve you. This will create the transformation. But I feel like for some of you guys, you need to allow yourself to really move forward based off of what you feel. Meaning move through your emotions. I feel like there needs to be a change again to your heart space. So I'm going to say this week. Because I have all these chakras here and that mental conflict, I feel like there's energetic conflict through your entire being. Um, I feel like you need to balance your chakras. Or internal disruption. Alright. So let's see here what we have for this heart space. I mean this heart chakra. Why do we have the heart chakra here? This is for Wednesday. Alright. We have two of pentacles, judgment, star sign. So this is about making a decision to see the bigger picture and be, be clear with that. I feel like this is about seeing what is creating burdens for you. Cutting that away. Look, death, justice, temperance. It's time for you to do what is right for you. I'm sorry. You see that? Death, judgment, and temperance there. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, it's time for you to make decisions. Um... To release some burdens. I feel like that's why you're disrupted internally. Because you're holding on to something that is a burden. That is oppressing you. And I feel like it is time for you to be clear with your intentions. See the bigger picture here. And make a decision to get on the right path. So this is about ch changing. Um, transforming. I do feel like there is. There could also be a, a spiritual upgrade that is happening. And it's kind of putting you in the space of having some conflicts. So we have the page of wands here with this seven of pentacles. I feel like for a lot of you guys, good news is on the way. But the interference is that you're in a space of just trying to have too much patience. You're, you're, I feel like you've been planning for too long. So if, you made some, if you're making plans and you've been in a space of wanting to do something, instead of moving from your heart space and trusting your intuition, you've just been in a space of having conflict, um, trying to create plans, trying to create plans. You've been planning for a little too long um, the planning is turning into a lack of confidence or a lack of vision so I do feel like this is a necessity for you to kind of get out of this mindset and make the moves that are necessary I feel like your beliefs your basic beliefs in life are creating some blockages here so we have the two of I mean the sacro chakra here this is about your beliefs Five pentacles here, five swords. Yeah. Some of you guys are worried that you'll make the wrong decision. Four of cups. And this because this is creating more heartache than anything. So eight of cups, ace of wands, ten of swords. I feel like you need to be in a space of going through. This is like getting on a new spiritual path. So you guys are going through a transformation. Um, but this is causing a disruption within you because this could be new territory for you. You could be in a space of not understanding really what's going on. You have this new opportunity with the ace of wands. But in order for you to get to this new opportunity, you have to embrace the end of difficulty within your past you have to change the way that you think you have to change the way that you're living and you have to be in a space of opening up your heart space in order to feel what is necessary for you to ascend so base chakra here we also had this for the um for taurus as well as aries why is this base chakra here so i feel like there could be some spiritual upgrades all across the board this week why is this base chakra here we have six of swords here, ten cups, ace cups. So I feel like you need to move away from a situation. And this is about really being confident about, for some of you guys, I'm going to be real with you, this is like starting all over. So I feel like this is about moving forward. Someone could be holding on to you, and I feel like you're in a space of wanting to kind of move away from that. Um... Because it makes you unhappy. But Six of Swords, Ten Cups here. This is moving toward emotional fulfillment. Having an opportunity here to really secure your own abundance or secure, be secure within yourself. I feel like this is like, even with Taurus, a, a name Taurus starting from the ground up. I feel like you're starting from the ground up with something. Um, and it's a necessity uh, because this is like new territory for you. Alright, so let's see what guidance we have. What guidance do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages, what guidance do we have for 
for Sagittarius. Solomon rising Venus. All right. We have golden opportunity. It says important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Mm -hmm. We also have home. It says your household situation is improving. Either through a move or a healthy change in occupants. And we have independent. I told you. Um, it says your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you could be holding back. Um, holding on to something. You're needing to kind of break free and really allow yourself to move forward independently. That's all I have. Peace, y'all.